Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be checking out our fifth brand new gem hunt anime called Revenger. Not to be confused with Tokyo Revenger, this is a completely different anime. And I saw the trailer, it looks sick, I really like the art style of this anime, so I'm gonna be checking it out today. And because this is a gem hunt anime, if you don't know, gem hunt is a little series I'm doing where my goal is to react to as many brand new anime from this season as possible, and then you guys get to decide which ones I continue by showing your support in the comments section, or by leaving a like under whatever video you want me to continue. So for example, if you want to see more Revenger on the channel, show your support by leaving a like let me know what you think about the series um, answer the question of the day or you can just simply like the video and my goal isn't to you know only watch the anime that have the most views I want to try to react to the series that I know you guys want to see out of the people that have actually watched the video how many of them care about the series enough to you know leave a like comment their thoughts all of that stuff that's what I'm mainly looking for but here we have Revenger episode 1 and we'll be starting this in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we have kind of a bit of a medieval vibe going on here. With that giant castle there. Never mind. Samurai. Forgot. That was definitely in the trailer. <laughs> All right, so what's going on here? Is this guy a bandit about to rob these dudes? Okay. As soon as I saw that cloak, I would have been like, okay, this guy means business. I would have went the opposite direction. Oh! Like butter! He's slicing through them like butter! Jeez. Yeah, that's a... That's definitely a deadly wound right there. One little nick in the neck that's deep enough is all it takes. And then we move. So it looks like he wasn't positioned there. Or maybe he was positioned there to ambush them, but I wonder why. Is that money? Is he about to eat it? Oh, what? What was that? Wait, what the heck? Why did he bite that? I could understand if he was, like, biting down on that because he was maybe about to, like, you know, maybe amputate his arm or something so that he could move on, but what was that? What the heck? Where did this come from? Oh yeah, this is definitely a sleeper. This is a hidden gem right here. I can already tell. The anime looks amazing. This opening is heat. And the characters look so cool. The heck is that? Oh my god! Hold on, that tattoo was so clean! Aw oh man, hold on, hold on. I don't know about this anime, man. It's only been like five minutes and the first impression is crazy. Look at this bow! What the heck? Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like, just... I'm sorry, but just take a second to look at the characters, man. They look so cool and unique. Oh my god, those vocals! Yeah, this is, this is a sleeper anime right here. I haven't heard anyone talking about it, and... So far, I'm the most impressed with this one, out of any of the other series I've watched so far. Once Upon a Time in Nagasaki. So 
So what is this this time period called? Is this the Edo period? When there were samurais and stuff? Usui Yuan. Oh, did he come to recruit him? For an odd job? Yep, that's basically what it is. Oh, so he came here to put a stop to him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly. Ah, nah, close up on the sword, you know they're about to get to it. Oh, I guess not. That was an interesting little twist they had there. Unless there's something else to it. Oh. So he did what he had to do, but he's not proud of it. I see, I see. <laughs> mm-hmm. That seems to be the case. Hmm. So it seems like these guys are still, like, well, I say still cool. They didn't really know each other before this, but this ended on a pretty cool note. Like, I'm sure they're going to bump into each other again in the future, and this first encounter, I'd say it was a pleasant one, so. Hmm. I'd actually be surprised if we saw them fighting each other. But it also seems like both of them know that the other person is pretty skilled. Like, they acknowledge each other as pretty talented individuals. Well, these guys don't look good. Oh, no. They're definitely here for, for trouble. The opium trade. Oh, I knew it. You have to die. And look, these guys have guns. They're not even playing fair. It's crazy how big of a difference, like gunpowder made in the world and look at where we are now like these guys have little flint locks we have like full ARs and everything oh are we about to meet who I think we are ooh they caught him 
But he might have made it out of there. Now look, are these the guns where they have to like, you know, reload it and stuff? It <laughs> takes like a clean two minutes just to get another bullet in there. Like these are the single shot guns, right? What is that? Oh, so it is her. Okay. Interesting, so that's like, like a fishing line. Dude, holy crap. All of this stuff in this room is so aesthetically pleasing to look at. Hmm, I wonder what her, or their line of work is then. Like, he said he does odd jobs, but it looks like they're crafting, like, little ornaments and stuff. And antiques. Okay, there you go. And she's, she's still using that string to make a kite. Mm, okay. Oh. Wow. Holy crap, what a twist. So the guy that we killed, well, the reason why we were sent here to crap, this is crazy. Man. And the worst part is, we know how much that guy meant to our uh, MC over here. Okay, okay. Hmm, so... Let's see... So that's why he had, like, bit into the... Holy crap, what a crazy twist. Would you be willing to join us? It's time. This is the beginning. All right. So I paused and explained this earlier, but I guess just so it won't interrupt any people that are following along. Basically, if I'm correct, he was sent here to kill that guy because he was told that that guy was involved in the opium trade. But the only reason why he was involved was because he was investigating it. And the real guy, the real kingpin, was the one that sent him here to kill that guy. So that's a crazy twist. He thought he was over here, you know, doing his lawful duty by taking out this guy involved in crime. When in actuality, that guy was innocent. And he was being used. This guy here was being used. Wow. So that was the person he was saying he couldn't return to.
All right, so they're mapping out the place. And we got this guy as well. We saw him in the um we saw him in the opening. Dang, man. This is dude, I'm hyped for this. They're like real deal planning all of this out and thinking of how they're going to infiltrate this place. Normally we don't see this stuff and we just kind of skip straight to the action. And she's still carrying the kite with her. I wonder if she's gonna, like, battle with the kite as a weapon or something. And we have this guy as well! We saw him in the opening, too! Are we assembling the entire squad in this episode? <laughs> Deranged. Look at that. These rumors spreading around. Painting him to be the villain. That's messed up. Well, that's what he thinks. Who knows? You might end up in the afterlife, so you can ask him yourself if he's there. Look at that, his lackeys over here. These are nothing but yes men. What's up with that dude? It looks like he has like like whiskers on his face. Dude, the MC in this anime looks so cool. He reminds me of a uh, soul bad guy from Guilty Gear. No, no. He's been watching. Now the question is, is he going to help us or is he going to hurt us? That's the real question here. I like this music. It's intense. Nope, oh, string. We know what that means. Don't touch it. Oh! It's already too late. What is that? Oh, no! Not the... Holy crap! Not the kite strangle technique. She's had all of this planned out. Oh my god, what a brutal way to go. Oh no. So that had to be like some sort of metal wire or something. Or steel wire, whatever it's called. This anime is crazy. And that girl is pretty cool. Look at the- what the heck? Why do you have a gun and a sword, both drawn? Like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, Oh, his finger! He can't even pull the trigger! Oh my god! It, like, split the bridge of his nose, dude! Oh my god! That is brutal. This is so brutal. I don't know, what's he gonna do? Okay, he's got like this this golden Oh, what? Oh, he's going to suffocate. Wait, what is that? What the heck? You can't even see him. He's just barely missing. Ah! 
Repent. What the heck is that? That has to be like some sort of like magic or alchemy or something. What the heck? I thought it was just at first just like not necessarily paper, but like maybe some sort of cloth that was stuck to his face with some sort of adhesive and he couldn't breathe. But then it just like dissipated at the end. What the heck was that? I'm not gonna lie, this anime is kind of clean, though. Let's be honest. None of us expected this. Now's the time. Ooh, no more bullets. No sake or bullets. This is just a bad day for you. Ooh, where'd he cut him? Where'd he get him? Oh, don't tell me he bisected him. Don't tell me he bisected the man. Man, that's a nasty way to go. Look, it was so bad, they didn't even show us the injury. It was that bad. Oh, I forgot about that. They told him to stay back at the, the place, and he came anyways. Neo, that's a cool name. Especially the way that they spelled it. And here she is. Is he going to be able to face her? Did you guys hear that ding? By the way, no, 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 you didn't. That was just me. I, <laughs> I probably sound crazy. I have a ding that lets me know whenever a video's done, and I thought it was captured in the video. <laughs> I swear I'm not crazy. Oh, no! Is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? To atone for what he did? Oh, no. <gasps> she already did it. She already- Oh my god! No way! I mean, not only did she lose- I believe that guy that we killed was her father. So not only did she lose her father, but she was also, like, I guess, taken advantage of by this other guy. And those two were very close, and it turns out, at least in her mind, he was some sort of, like, deranged killer. So, yeah, definitely understandable why she would have felt the way that she felt there. Because it kind of seemed like everything was going terrible. But, what a wild first episode. I kid you not. There were some other anime that I was very hyped for, like Vinland Saga, Tokyo Revengers, um, Misfits of Demon Academy, or The Misfit of Demon King Academy. Oops. I was looking forward to all of those. But then this anime just comes out of nowhere and blindsides me, and I think this has the potential to be, like, a, a top 10, maybe even top 5 anime of this season. Which is crazy because I'm sure a lot of us thought that this season was going to be dry. Like it wasn't going to have too much. There's some sequels to anime that we know. Some promising looking new anime. But at least for the most part, a lot of these anime, to me, I was like, what the heck even are these? So, I'm glad I'm doing this whole gem hunt thing. Or I'm reacting to as many different anime as I can. Because I probably never would have seen this if I wasn't doing something like this. Episode 2, Gold Opens Any Door. Ain't that the truth? Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and of course, if you guys are new to the series, or if you guys are new to this channel, at the end of every video, I like to give you guys a question of the day, and today's question of the day is going to be, what are your personal thoughts on this series? 
or I guess what were your first impressions of this series? Did it impress you? Was it a little bit underwhelming in your opinion? Or were you maybe a manga reader or light novel reader and you were already looking forward to this series? Because I'm not gonna lie, when I looked up this anime, like it seemed like a lot of other people were interested as well, even though I haven't really heard anyone talking about it. So I'm sure there definitely are a group of people out there that were hype when an anime for this was announced and now that it's here it, it came with a vengeance man they really impressed me personally i did not expect this going into the anime the trailer looked great the characters looked great in the trailer as well the action looked cool but the story on top of all of that is so cool like the little plot twist they threw in there or the MC thought he was just doing his job and he couldn't return home because he did his duty but he had to take care of someone that he cared about and he couldn't go back home and face all of his friends knowing that he was the one responsible for killing this person. And then it turns out that he was used! Like that guy was completely innocent! He didn't need to die but he was used by this scumbag and that guy got what he deserved. His lackeys got what they deserved. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. That that little kite thing was a little overkill. But it was fun to watch nonetheless. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And do not forget, if you'd like to see me continue Revengers, make sure to leave a like, answer the question of the day in the comments, or just comment what you thought about this series in general. But with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.